Stoicism is a practical philosophy that has endured for centuries, offering timeless wisdom for modern living. Rooted in ancient Greek thought, Stoicism emphasizes the development of personal virtue, resilience, and rationality. It encourages individuals to focus on what they can control and to maintain equanimity in the face of life's inevitable challenges. This philosophy, attributed to thinkers such as Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, remains highly relevant today. By integrating Stoic principles into daily habits, one can experience profound transformations in their life. Here are seven habits, inspired by Stoicism, that can significantly change your life. 1. Practice mindfulness and presence. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully aware of your thoughts, emotions, and experiences in the present moment without judgment. In Stoicism, this practice is closely related to prosoch, attention, a fundamental concept that emphasizes being vigilant and aware of the present. Mindfulness is essential for focusing on what is within our control and accepting what is not. It enables us to live in the moment, appreciate life as it unfolds, and respond to situations with clarity and composure. To cultivate mindfulness, consider incorporating daily meditation into your routine. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Allow your thoughts to come and go without attachment. This practice can help reduce stress, improve concentration, and enhance emotional regulation. Mindful breathing throughout the day is another effective technique. Taking a few moments to focus on your breath can anchor you to the present moment and provide a sense of calm amidst chaos. Reflective journaling is also a powerful tool for developing mindfulness. Writing about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences can help you gain insights into your inner world and track your progress over time. This practice encourages self-awareness and self-reflection, which are crucial for personal growth. By being mindful, you can better understand your reactions, make more thoughtful decisions, and cultivate a sense of inner peace. One effective way to practice mindfulness is through the technique of focused breathing. Begin by finding a quiet place where you can sit comfortably without distractions. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. As you breathe, direct your attention to the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. Notice the rise and fall of your chest or the feeling of the breath passing through your nostrils. When your mind starts to wander, gently bring your focus back to your breath. This simple yet powerful practice can help you cultivate a sense of presence and calm, even in the midst of a busy day. Another approach to mindfulness is through body scan meditation. This involves systematically directing your attention to different parts of your body, starting from your toes and moving up to your head. As you focus on each body part, notice any sensations, tension, or discomfort without trying to change or judge them. This practice can help you develop a deeper connection with your body and become more aware of physical sensations that you might usually overlook. By tuning into your body signals, you can gain valuable insights into your emotional and mental state. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily activities can also enhance your sense of presence. For example, when eating a meal, take the time to savor each bite, noticing the flavors, textures, and aromas. Avoid multitasking or rushing through the meal. Similarly, when walking, pay attention to the sensations of your feet hitting the ground, the movement of your body, and the sounds around you. These simple practices can help you fully engage with the present moment and find joy in everyday experiences. Mindfulness also involves cultivating a non-judgmental attitude towards your thoughts and emotions. Instead of labeling your thoughts as good or bad, try to observe them with curiosity and acceptance. Recognize that thoughts and emotions are transient and do not define who you are. By adopting a non-judgmental stance, you can create a sense of inner peace and reduce the impact of negative thinking patterns. The Stoics emphasize the importance of reflecting on the present moment to gain clarity and perspective. One way to do this 
is through the practice of daily review. At the end of each day, take a few minutes to reflect on your experiences, thoughts, and actions. Consider what went well, what challenges you faced, and how you responded to them. This practice can help you identify patterns in your behavior, recognize areas for improvement, and reinforce positive habits. 2. Embrace discomfort and challenge. Stoicism teaches that growth occurs outside our comfort zone. By embracing discomfort and seeking challenges, we build resilience and strength. This habit involves stepping out of our routine and confronting fears and obstacles head on. Whether it's taking on a new project, engaging in physical exercise, or having difficult conversations, facing discomfort helps us grow and adapt. Voluntarily exposing ourselves to challenges enhances our ability to handle adversity. Stoics believe that by seeking discomfort, we become better prepared for life's inevitable hardships. This proactive approach fosters personal development and strengthens our character. For example, practicing physical discomfort through exercises like cold showers, fasting, or intense workouts can build mental toughness and discipline. These activities teach us to endure and thrive under pressure. Embracing challenges also involves pursuing new experiences and opportunities for growth. This could mean learning a new skill, taking on a leadership role, or traveling to unfamiliar places. Each challenge presents an opportunity to expand our horizons, build confidence, and develop resilience. By regularly stepping out of our comfort zone, we become more adaptable and better equipped to navigate the uncertainties of life. One way to embrace discomfort is through physical exercise. Engaging in regular physical activity not only improves our physical health, but also builds mental toughness and resilience. Activities such as running, weightlifting, or practicing martial arts challenge our bodies and minds, pushing us to overcome physical and mental barriers. The discipline and determination required to maintain a consistent exercise routine translate into other areas of life, helping us develop a strong work ethic and perseverance. Another powerful way to embrace discomfort is by taking cold showers. While it may seem daunting at first, cold exposure has numerous benefits for both physical and mental health. Cold showers can improve circulation, boost the immune system, and increase energy levels. More importantly, they teach us to tolerate discomfort and remain calm under pressure. By intentionally subjecting ourselves to cold water, we learn to control our reactions and develop a greater sense of resilience. Fasting is another practice that can help us embrace discomfort. Periodic fasting has been shown to have various health benefits, including improved metabolism, enhanced mental clarity, and increased longevity. More importantly, Fasting teaches us to appreciate the value of food and develop self-discipline. By willingly abstaining from food for a set period, we strengthen our ability to delay gratification and resist cravings. This practice can also deepen our understanding of hunger and help us cultivate a sense of gratitude for the nourishment we receive. Embracing discomfort also means facing our fears and confronting difficult situations. This might involve having tough conversations, addressing conflicts, or stepping into leadership roles. By confronting these challenges head-on, we build confidence and develop problem-solving skills. Each difficult situation we face becomes an opportunity for growth and learning. Over time, we become more comfortable with uncertainty and better equipped to handle the complexities of life. Seeking new experiences is another way to embrace discomfort and challenge. Traveling to unfamiliar places, learning a new language, or taking up a new hobby can push us out of our comfort zones and expand our horizons. These experiences expose us to different perspectives and ways of thinking, enhancing our creativity and adaptability. By embracing the unknown, we become more open-minded and resilient, better prepared to navigate the complexities of life. Stoicism also teaches the importance of voluntary discomfort through the practice of negative visualization. This involves imagining potential hardships and challenges that we might face in the future. By contemplating worst-case scenarios, we prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally for adversity. 
This practice helps us develop a sense of gratitude for our current circumstances and builds resilience by familiarizing us with potential difficulties. When we encounter actual challenges, we are better equipped to handle them with calm and composure. Incorporating these practices into our daily lives can help us develop a greater tolerance for discomfort and a stronger sense of resilience. By embracing challenges, we build character and become more adaptable, better equipped to navigate life's uncertainties. This proactive approach to discomfort fosters personal growth and enhances our ability to thrive under pressure. Three, focus on what you can control. A core tenet of Stoicism is distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. This principle helps us direct our energy and efforts toward areas where we can make a difference, reducing unnecessary stress and frustration. By focusing on our actions, thoughts, and responses, we take responsibility for our lives and empower ourselves to effect positive change. To practice this habit, start by identifying the aspects of a situation that are within your control. This might include your attitude, effort, and decisions. Accept that external events, other people's actions, and certain outcomes are beyond your control. Instead of worrying about these uncontrollable factors, focus on what you can influence. This mindset shift can alleviate anxiety and help you remain calm and composed in the face of adversity. Practicing gratitude is another way to reinforce this habit. By regularly acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of your life, you can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. This practice fosters a sense of contentment and resilience. Additionally, developing problem-solving skills can enhance your ability to control your responses. By breaking down challenges into manageable steps and taking proactive measures, you can navigate difficulties more effectively. One practical way to focus on what you can control is by creating a daily to-do list. Start each day by listing the tasks and activities that are within your control and that you want to accomplish. This practice helps you prioritize your efforts and stay organized. By focusing on what you can control, you can make steady progress toward your goals and feel a sense of accomplishment. Another technique to help you focus on what you can control is the practice of cognitive reframing. This involves changing the way you perceive and interpret challenging situations. Instead of viewing a setback as a failure, reframe it as an opportunity for growth and learning. By shifting your perspective, you can reduce negative emotions and develop a more positive and resilient mindset. Mindfulness meditation can also help you focus on what you can control. During meditation, you learn to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. This practice helps you become more aware of your internal responses and allows you to choose how you react to external events. By cultivating mindfulness, you can develop greater control over your thoughts and emotions and respond to situations with greater clarity and composure. Practicing self-compassion is another important aspect of focusing on what you can control. When faced with challenges or setbacks, Treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Recognize that it is natural to experience difficulties and that you are doing your best in the given circumstances. By being compassionate toward yourself, you can reduce self-criticism and build a stronger sense of resilience. Building a support network is also crucial for focusing on what you can control. Surround yourself with positive and supportive individuals who encourage and uplift you. Seek out mentors, friends, and family members who can provide guidance and perspective during challenging times. By cultivating strong relationships, you can create a sense of community and support that empowers you to navigate difficulties more effectively. Engaging in regular physical exercise is another way to focus on what you can control. Exercise has numerous benefits for both physical and mental health, including reducing stress, improving mood, and enhancing cognitive function. By taking care of your body, you can build resilience and develop a greater sense of control over your overall well-being. Practicing gratitude is another powerful tool for focusing on what you can control. Take time each day to reflect on the positive aspects of your life 
and express gratitude for them. This practice can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a sense of contentment and resilience. By appreciating the present moment and the people and experiences that bring you joy, you can cultivate a more positive and empowered mindset. Incorporating these practices into your daily life can help you develop a greater sense of control and resilience. By focusing on what you can control, you can reduce stress, improve your overall well-being, and navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and composure. 4. Cultivate Virtue and Character Stoicism places a strong emphasis on the cultivation of virtue and character. The Stoics believe that living a virtuous life is the key to achieving true happiness and fulfillment. Virtue, in the Stoic sense, encompasses qualities such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By striving to embody these virtues, we can lead a more meaningful and purposeful life. To cultivate virtue, start by setting clear intentions and goals that align with your values. Reflect on the qualities you admire in others and seek to develop them within yourself. Practicing self-discipline is essential for cultivating virtue. This might involve setting boundaries, making ethical decisions, and prioritizing long-term goals over short-term gratifications. Engaging in regular self-reflection and self-assessment is crucial for personal growth. Take time to evaluate your actions, decisions, and behaviors. Consider how they align with your values and virtues. When you fall short, view it as an opportunity for learning and improvement rather than self-criticism. This process of continuous self-improvement is at the heart of Stoic practice. Building strong relationships and contributing to the well-being of others is also a key aspect of cultivating virtue. By acting with kindness, empathy, and fairness, you can positively impact the lives of those around you and create a sense of community and connection. This outward focus reinforces your commitment to living a virtuous life and enhances your sense of purpose. Incorporating the practice of reading and reflecting on philosophical texts can also help you cultivate virtue. Engage with the works of Stoic philosophers such as Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, as well as other philosophical and ethical writings. These texts can provide valuable insights and guidance on how to live a virtuous life. Reflecting on these teachings and applying them to your daily life can deepen your understanding of virtue and strengthen your commitment to personal growth. Another way to cultivate virtue is through acts of service and kindness. Volunteering your time, offering support to those in need, and performing random acts of kindness can reinforce your commitment to living a virtuous life. These actions not only benefit others, but also enhance your sense of fulfillment and purpose. By making a positive impact on the lives of others, you contribute to the greater good and strengthen your own character. Practicing gratitude is also essential for cultivating virtue. Regularly reflecting on the positive aspects of your life and expressing gratitude for them can foster a sense of humility and appreciation. Gratitude helps you recognize the interconnectedness of all things and reinforces your commitment to living a life of virtue. By appreciating the contributions of others and the beauty of the world around you, you can develop a deeper sense of empathy and compassion. 5. Practice Negative Visualization Negative Visualization, or Premeditatio Malorum, is a stoic exercise that involves imagining and contemplating potential hardships and challenges. This practice prepares us mentally and emotionally for adversity, helping us build resilience and maintain perspective. By envisioning worst-case scenarios, we can appreciate the present moment and cultivate gratitude for what we have. To practice negative visualization, set aside time to reflect on possible difficulties you might encounter. Consider how you would respond and what actions you would take. This exercise helps you develop contingency plans and strengthens your ability to remain calm under pressure. It also reduces the fear of the unknown by familiarizing you with potential outcomes. Negative visualization can also enhance your appreciation for the present. By imagining life without certain comforts or privileges, you can cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude for what you currently have. 
This practice shifts your focus from what you lack to the abundance in your life, fostering contentment and resilience. Incorporating negative visualization into your daily routine can help you approach challenges with a more balanced and prepared mindset. It encourages you to face difficulties with courage and equanimity, knowing that you have the strength and resources to navigate them. For example, take a few moments each day to think about what it would be like to lose something you value, such as your health, a loved one, or your job. This exercise can help you appreciate these aspects of your life more deeply and remind you not to take them for granted. By contemplating these potential losses, you can cultivate a sense of gratitude and presence in your daily life. Another way to practice negative visualization is by imagining various worst-case scenarios and considering how you would cope with them. This could include losing your job, facing a serious illness, or experiencing a natural disaster. By mentally preparing for these possibilities, you can reduce anxiety and develop a greater sense of resilience. Knowing that you have thought through these challenges and have a plan in place can provide a sense of security and confidence. Engaging in regular journaling can also support the practice of negative visualization. Write about potential challenges and how you would handle them. Reflect on your fears and anxieties and consider how you can turn them into opportunities for growth. This practice can help you gain clarity and perspective, enabling you to approach difficulties with a calm and composed mindset. Negative visualization is not about dwelling on negativity or becoming pessimistic. Instead, it is a proactive approach to building resilience and preparing for life's uncertainties. By acknowledging the potential for hardship, you can strengthen your mental and emotional fortitude allowing you to navigate challenges with greater ease and grace. 6. Detach from material possessions. Stoicism teaches that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, not from external possessions or wealth. By detaching from material goods, we can focus on what truly matters and lead a more meaningful life. This habit involves simplifying our lives, reducing attachment to material possessions, and prioritizing experiences and relationships over things. To practice detachment, start by decluttering your physical space. Let go of items that no longer serve a purpose or bring you joy. This process can create a sense of freedom and clarity, allowing you to focus on what is truly important. Adopting a minimalist lifestyle can also reduce stress and increase your sense of well-being. Shifting your focus from material possessions to experiences and relationships can enhance your overall happiness. Prioritize spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, and creating meaningful memories. These experiences provide lasting fulfillment and enrich your life in ways that material goods cannot. Practicing gratitude is another way to cultivate detachment from material possessions. Regularly reflect on the non-material aspects of your life that bring you joy and fulfillment, such as your health, relationships, and personal achievements. This practice reinforces the understanding that true happiness comes from within and helps you appreciate the abundance in your life. Detaching from material possessions also involves examining your relationship with consumption. Consider the motivations behind your purchases and whether they align with your values and long-term goals. Practice mindful spending by asking yourself whether each purchase truly adds value to your life or if it is driven by external pressures and desires. This approach can help you make more intentional choices and reduce the clutter and distractions that material possessions can create. Another way to detach from material possessions is by practicing generosity. By giving to others and sharing your resources, you can shift your focus from accumulation to contribution. Acts of generosity can create a sense of connection and purpose, reinforcing the idea that true fulfillment comes from helping and supporting others. Whether it's donating to a charity, volunteering your time, or simply helping a friend in need, practicing generosity can enhance your sense of well-being and reduce attachment to material goods. Engaging in activities that promote inner growth and self-awareness can also support detachment from material possessions. 
Practices such as meditation, yoga, and journaling can help you connect with your inner self and develop a deeper understanding of your values and priorities. These activities encourage introspection and self-reflection, helping you recognize that true happiness and fulfillment come from within. Fostering a sense of community and belonging can also contribute to detachment from material possessions. Building strong relationships and connecting with others who share similar values can provide a sense of support and fulfillment that material goods cannot offer. By focusing on meaningful connections and shared experiences, you can create a sense of purpose and belonging that transcends material wealth. 7. Reflect on Mortality Reflecting on mortality, or memento mori, is a stoic practice that involves contemplating the impermanence of life. This habit reminds us that life is finite and encourages us to make the most of the time we have. By acknowledging our mortality, we can live with greater intention, purpose, and gratitude. To practice memento mori, take time to reflect on the transient nature of life. Consider the fact that each day is a gift and an opportunity to make a positive impact. This perspective can motivate you to live more fully, pursue your passions, and prioritize what truly matters. Reflecting on mortality can also help you overcome fears and anxieties. By accepting the inevitability of death, you can approach life with a sense of freedom and courage. This mindset shift allows you to focus on the present moment and appreciate the beauty and wonder of life. Incorporating memento mori into your daily routine can enhance your sense of purpose and fulfillment. Whether it's through meditation, journaling, or quiet contemplation, regularly reminding yourself of the impermanence of life can inspire you to live with greater intention and gratitude. One practical way to reflect on mortality is by setting aside time each day for quiet contemplation. Find a peaceful place where you can sit comfortably without distractions. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. As you breathe, reflect on the transient nature of life and the inevitability of death. Consider what truly matters to you and how you want to spend your time. This practice can help you gain clarity and perspective, allowing you to live with greater intention and purpose. Another approach to memento mori is through journaling. Write about your thoughts and feelings regarding mortality. Reflect on the people and experiences that have shaped your life and consider what you want to accomplish in the time you have left. This practice can help you prioritize your goals and make more intentional choices. By regularly reflecting on your mortality, you can cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude for the present moment and the people in your life. Engaging in activities that connect you with nature can also support the practice of memento mori. Spending time in natural environments can remind you of the cycles of life and the impermanence of all things. Whether it's hiking in the mountains, walking along the beach, or simply sitting in a park, connecting with nature can provide a sense of peace and perspective. These experiences can help you appreciate the beauty of life and the importance of living in harmony with the natural world. Practicing gratitude is another important aspect of reflecting on mortality. Take time each day to acknowledge and appreciate the people, experiences, and opportunities that bring you joy and fulfillment. By focusing on the positive aspects of your life, you can cultivate a sense of gratitude and contentment. This practice can help you make the most of each moment and live with a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. Engaging in meaningful conversations with loved ones about life and mortality can also enhance your practice of memento mori. Share your thoughts and feelings with those close to you and listen to their perspectives. These conversations can deepen your relationships and provide valuable insights into how you can live more intentionally. By discussing mortality openly and honestly, you can reduce fear and anxiety and create a sense of connection and support. Incorporating these practices into your daily life can help you develop a deeper awareness of the impermanence of life and the importance of living with intention and gratitude. By reflecting on mortality, you can cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment. 
allowing you to make the most of the time you have. Integrating Stoic principles into daily habits can lead to profound life changes, fostering resilience, wisdom, and fulfillment. By practicing mindfulness and presence, you become more aware of your thoughts and actions, allowing you to respond to life's challenges with clarity and calm. Embracing discomfort and challenge builds mental toughness and adaptability, preparing you for life's inevitable hardships. Focusing on what you can control reduces unnecessary stress and empowers you to affect positive change. Cultivating virtue and character aligns your actions with your values, leading to a more meaningful and purposeful life. Practicing negative visualization helps you prepare for adversity and appreciate the present moment, fostering gratitude and resilience. Detaching from material possessions shifts your focus to what truly matters, such as experiences and relationships, enhancing your overall happiness. Reflecting on mortality reminds you of the impermanence of life, motivating you to live with intention and purpose. These seven habits provide a roadmap for personal growth and fulfillment. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and resilient existence. The wisdom of Stoicism, with its emphasis on inner strength and rationality, remains a valuable guide for those seeking to live a life of virtue and contentment in the modern world. Embrace these habits, and you will find yourself better equipped to handle the complexities of life, leading you towards a path of lasting happiness and fulfillment.